Dinner Cookie with Ms. B. Today is Wednesday. Thanks for joining us. All this week we're talking about That's a Fail. If you missed any of the previous episodes, please go back and check them out. And as always, thanks so much for joining us. I don't know why you keep coming back, but you do, and you should bring friends, because doing this alone, eh, not so much. <laughs> oh, did I, I didn't tell you. I got, I got my, I got a correction handed to me. For what? So I, I remember I was talking last week about how I don't understand why they always say Wednesday is the middle of the week when Sunday's the first day, Saturday's the last day. So I got a young person handed it to me. One of the children of the nurses went Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday. What's the one in the middle? Wednesday. Wednesday. He went middle of the week. I went, okay. He's like, three and three is six. That leaves one. And that one is not the middle of Tuesday. It's Wednesday. So I'm like, you got me there. Yeah. (laughs) It's the middle of the work week, and it's the middle of the regular week. So, yeah. I'm like, okay. All right. Glad to know that the nurses have brought their children in for reinforcements now. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. So I just threw that out there so that young Cody, young Cody can go, yeah, I was on there. I was on iHeart. <laughs> Ta-da, Tuesday. <laughs> but really, today is Wednesday, and the topic for today is I can cook. <laughs> Yeah. Why do I feel this one's for me? <laughs> well, I'm going to start off by telling you a story about my dad. <laughs> oh, boy. I know a few stories about your dad, so this ought to be good. I think I might have mentioned this one before. I don't remember. My dad was working um, a lot of overtime at this point, and he was just exhausted. So he came home, this was like a Saturday, and he came home Saturday night, um, like around 10 o'clock, and we were already in bed. We went to bed early that that night for some reason. So anyways, everybody's in bed. My dad comes home, and he's like, I'm so hungry. I don't really want to cook anything. Okay, so let me just boil up a couple of hot dogs and, you know, just wolf those down and, you know, going to relax unwind go to sleep because you know Sunday he had day off so <laughs> so he's having and hawing about you know what what to make and by this point in time it's 11 o'clock now because you know he's taking a little time to unwind and figure out what he wants to eat so he says I'm going to boil some hot dogs so he goes in the kitchen and puts the, the dogs on and boils them then it gets to the point <laughs> where he goes back into the living room was sitting down watching TV and you know how you're literally so tired, you fall asleep sitting up, which my dad did at this point in time. And forgot about those hot dogs. <laughs> and it got to the point where the hot dogs had no more water in the pan because they were long done boiling. <laughs> Doesn't uh, smoking happen after that? <clears throat> So my mom (laughs) wakes up to smelling the smoke because by this point in time, my dad is so exhausted and so out of it that he literally did not wake up (laughs) to the smell of smoke and burnt hot dogs. (laughs) Special kind of smell, too. It's one that I should not forget ever in my life (laughs) so my mom comes running down the stairs and she's screaming the house is on fire now you think at this point in time my dad would wake up (laughs) he kind of half-heartedly woke up and said to my mom no no no, it's not it's good we're good we're we're good (laughs) and then fell back to sleep i don't know how he could do this 
but he did. And of course, my brother comes running, and I come running because no, we're waking up and we're smelling the smoke, and we're thinking, "Oh my God, is the house really on fire? What are we gonna do? Do we have to dial nine one one first? Do we call the fire department? Do we get out of the house? Do we escape? What do we do? You know, like your mind's just starting to race. Generally, you escape and run away. You know, yeah, but I'm, I'm you don't a kid start debating. You don't start. You don't start debating. Should I call nine one one or the fire department first? But I'm a kid at this time, so I, you know, I'm thinking like a kid. <laughs> so finally, my mom makes her way into the kitchen and realizes that this is where all the smoke is coming from. <laughs> no, my dad used my mom's favorite pot. Oh no. <laughs> An Italian woman's favorite pot has been used to burn hot dogs. This is divorce grounds right here. This this is the kind of stuff that this is forever. Did she ever forget? No. Nope. Okay, I was gonna say, yeah, an Italian chick, her pot, her favorite pot. This is forever. This is forever, Turk. And, and it, what was left in the pot was two hot dogs, or the remnants of, but they were all black. I mean, they were blackened. Yeah. And it was blackened to the point where it actually left marks on the pot. Well, yeah, and she that never came out. Well, right, and at being an Italian woman, she'll never throw that away because she needs that. Because that's proof. Forever. That's proof. Yeah. Christine, what? Can you get the pot out of there? You know the one, the one your father used to try to kill us? That one? Can you get the one that your father used? To try to kill us? Yeah, that one. <laughs> when she mad at my dad, she'd be like, well, I got to cook dinner. You want to get that pot down for me? You know, the one that your dad boiled the hot dogs in that he ruined? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Italian chicks are like, oh, yeah, it's, this is forever. This is forever. <laughs> and you know what the funny thing is? is I think they like having forever stories. <laughs> I think they oh, I like think, I think she did enjoy that because she never let my dad live that one down. I mean, he, he did wake up. And, and we're just like, me and my brother are looking at each other so dumbfoundedly. Like, how do you sleep through all this smoke and my mom's term in the house is on fire? <laughs> yeah. Wow, it burned an Italian woman's butt. Oh, wow. <laughs> Because that, you know, that, 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 the crazy thing about that is, is that they're going to do things like, oh, I, how is this sauce? Is it good? It'll never be the same since somebody tried to kill me with my pan. It'll never be the same. <laughs> Hopefully you don't taste burnt hot dog. It'll be 15 years later. There's no burnt hot dog. But no, we're going to talk about it. Every chance we have, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> and you want to know the funny thing out of all of this? No, this was many years later. My mom had passed away. My dad never got rid of that pot. Well, he can't. <laughs> and I think to this day that I don't see it, like, you know, out there with the rest of his cooking stuff, shall we say. I know he's got it hidden well, yeah, there because somewhere. That, that's, that, no, that with an Italian woman, she kept that thing forever. That was part of her life right there. So if he gets rid of that, he's getting rid of the last little, no, 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 nope, nope. That's your mother. What do you mean? No, that Panya, that is your mother. That's her. That's why I keep it in the back of the cupboard. Why? Because that's your mother. He knows if he threw that away, he'd be upstairs in the attic. He'd throw it away, watch him crush it. He'd be upstairs in the attic cleaning out, and all of a sudden he'd go, what's that? There's the pan. It's not, it's not crushed anymore. Uh-uh. And it looks like someone took a ma- looks like someone took a black magic marker and drew a circle around the burn marks from the hot dog. <laughs> kind of like the map in the mall. You are here. <laughs> yeah. I am here. You remember me? Your wife? Yeah. Happy holidays. <laughs> and I'm not no, we need to take a break. Hot dogs, anyone? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to A Cookie with Miss B, and today is Wednesday, and if you missed the first half of the episode, uh, you need to go back and check that out. You know, this is a very special uh, day. You know it's a special day, right? It's the day before. What day? 
Throughout Thursday. Taco Thursday. <laughs> Wanted to get that in so we could make sure Gun Wild One was excited, warmed up, ready, <laughs> ready for Taco Thursday. You know, here, on, he here on Hump Day Wednesday. Yeah, well, oh, you know, which I have been straightened out. He would have loved to heard that kid give me that. He would have loved that. The kid's like, oh, he's gonna comment. Oh, yeah. you know he's gonna comment. Sunday, after. Monday, Tuesday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday. What's in the middle? Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> it is the middle of the week. It's the middle of the work week and the middle of the regular week. I get totally schooled by like a nine-year-old. <laughs> Mr. Cody, this is your second name drop. <laughs> So today we're talking about that's a fail, especially in the cooking department. (laughs) Now, I'm going to tell one that I've told. You told one about your dad, so I'm going to tell one about my friend that I just think deserves being told a million times. I can't tell you his name because it wouldn't be fair. Is this the macaroni game? Yes, it is. This is a, uh, it's a very special, uh, let's just say. He liked oregano, the other kind of oregano. And occasionally, he would have a lot of oregano. Maybe too much oregano. Things began to get difficult for him because he had so much oregano. Uh (laughs) And one day, he decided he was starving. He was going to make macaroni and cheese. This can't be that hard, right? So he gets the box. He goes, I think he went and got a box of macaroni and cheese. I don't think he had it there because if you can't cook it, why would you buy it, right? Or maybe it was a lone box that was just there. You know, who knows? But in his cupboard was a box of macaroni and cheese for whatever reason. And he gazed into the ingredients and he saw things like, you know, six quarts of water, which I never have understood why they say that. Bring to a boil six quarts of water. You're like, that's a lot of water for a half a cup of macaroni. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but people do it. So he did it. He's following them directions. He missed right. a couple, but he was following most of the directions. You know, it said things like, wait till it boils, put the macaroni in, cook the macaroni. He forgot to check the whole time, that whole seven-minute thing. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't bother with that. He knew things that didn't make sense, like strain. He didn't know what that was, so he just bypassed that one. And he figured you... Put it on a boil. You put the macaroni in. Once it starts boiling, then you just watch it. And I don't know if elves show up and magic happens or what. But eventually, the macaroni, you know, is done, apparently. Well, he contacts me because, you know, he's had a lot of oregano and there's not a lot of intelligence in the the noggin above stairs. And it's been boiling for, like, Mm -hmm. let's just say a long time. Anybody who's witnessed macaroni and cheese, you know the size of a noodle. It's very, very Uh small when it comes out of the box. Well, you can imagine a noodle now the size of your thumb. Uh Uh-huh. Every one of them. Still floating in like, you know, four (laughs) cups of water. You're like, he's tripping out. He doesn't know what's going on. The macaroni's so giant. And there's still water. How long can this possibly take? Why do kids like this? No. Kids love this stuff, but he's out. He's annoyed because it's been a long time now. <clears throat> so he calls me to see if I'm available to rescue him. <laughs> I get there and it's like, oh my God, how long have you been doing this? <laughs> and then I say things like strainer. And he's like, what's that? That's when you realize that you know what you should do. What disconnect the oven from the uh, from the power? And uh, I don't know. Back in those days, it was fifty cents for a hamburger. I don't. Let's let let's figure McDonald's forever for you. Because wow, dude, the basic skills that we are that are needed to just like get up and get dressed. Yeah, you don't have those. You, 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 I don't know how you. How do you survive? What do you eat? What What does a person like you eat? I mean, good God Almighty, do you live on peanut butter with a spoon or what? <laughs> I mean, and then I find another. Apparently, he had bought two boxes or had two boxes, whatever. So there's another box in there. I make this thing for him. Christine, I'm done in like seven minutes. <laughs> he thinks I'm, I'm some sort of like a, a wizard. <laughs> 
Uh-huh. He's like, but how did you, the, but all the water, you're like, you strain it. What's that? And you're like, well, you don't have a strainer, so I just like, you know, held a plate to the back, to, to the front of the thing and made sure a little spot was open that was smaller than a noodle and drizzled all the water out. You know, strained it. <laughs> I didn't see that. On, all right, that's the big S word right here. It has the S T R A I N, you know, strain. Sound it out with me. Strain. There you go. Strain. Strain pasta. Add milk and butter. I don't have milk and butter. Okay. <laughs> strain pasta. Add cheese sauce mix. I don't have cheese sauce. That's the packet. It comes with cheese. Oh, I thought we were just going to have the noodles. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, where was your cheese sauce? And guess what I found out with the one that I had pushed back on the stove? Uh-huh. The one that I had just pushed back and made a new one? Do you know it was boiling in there the whole time? Oh, what? The cheese sauce packet. in the water apparently he didn't notice it come out i, I said you put, he says install i don't have any cheese sauce i said it comes with it what it comes with it this one didn't i take the the fork and i'm moving the giant thumb-sized noodles around and i'm like pick it up with that fork and lift it out <laughs> wow <laughs> is that still good i'm like um i <laughs> it's a foil pack that you boiled for an hour. I'm I'm not sure if it's any good or not. <laughs> How about we just use the one you didn't boil? <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> that uh, that's still in the box over here. <laughs> and then I put it in there. He's like, "Oh, it's gonna have powder all in it." You're like, "Well, there is a little magic." You put a couple of teaspoons of water and since you don't have milk and butter and it, it makes it's a liquid that'll yeah just watch just watch and then, uh-huh. yeah magically and then of course you know all he did was shoveled that in his face and went oh we should get more and so okay i'm leaving i'm leaving <laughs> and on that note we need to be done oh